I absolutely love catching the morning sunrise. It's 6.30 a.m. and today you're gonna join me on one of the most special days for me. What it's like to be a golf course owner. So usually in the morning, I get up between five and 6 a.m. I zip outside really quick for a brush of fresh air. I love doing that. And then it's off to work out quickly. Get a quick workout in before my kids even get up usually. And then they're off to school, so I rush to get ready. kids heading to school now here shortly. Today, as I'm heading out the door, is gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be visiting all the golf courses and talking about Launchpad, all the happenings of what's happening with the courses being open and a lot of exciting things. Hey, Barry. Hey, how you doing? Good, you? Feels like summer. Isn't that a gorgeous day? Perfect. I'm just at my first stop of the day at Bear's Paw Golf Club. I'm gonna put a link above me here of a new video that we just filmed. Something really exciting if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna introduce you to Natasha, our VP of Experience and Member Services. Natasha, opening Good day. Good morning. At Bear's Paw. What do we got going on today? Well, we've got a full tea sheet. We've got some snacks here to send the golfers off for their uh, for their first round of the season. Things are hustling around with construction and everybody's just super excited to be back and we're pumped to welcome the members back. It's gonna be an awesome year. And so we're just gonna enjoy this beautiful day and have some fun out here today. Awesome, Natasha. I've got a lot of stops today. I'm, I know you do too. Sure do. Here we go. I'm actually in one of my old offices right now at the Hamptons. This is a little bit nostalgic for me because I've spent so much time here and so many great memories. I'm gonna be spending more time here this year amongst the membership, playing in men's night and a lot of different things. Gonna go over and say hi to our new head pro, Jeremy. Make sure there's not too many kinks as we get ready to open tomorrow. Looks like we're making some good progress out of the driving range, but can you believe that? There's still snow out here. We're kind of a north facing golf course, so we do tend to keep snow around more often than some of the other golf courses. But take a look at this driving range deck right down here. And since the last time I was here, we do have the driving range water going, We've got the pond filled, and look at this tee deck. That was just set up right down here. Mickelson National, stop number three of the day. I'm already into my afternoon. This is what lunch looks like for me on the road on busy days like this. Probably not the best, but that's as good as it gets. I'm gonna share some fun stuff we're doing here at Mickelson National and throughout Windmill Golf at all of our courses this year. Take a look at this truck here, right here in front of me. This is actually some of the first supplies coming for the new launch pad facility we're building at Mickelson National. I'm gonna zip over to it right now and show you what that's gonna look like because we have our screw piles in. Things are moving on this facility. As you can see, we're really starting to make some great progress at the launch pad at Mickelson National. This has been a long time coming. It's something I'm really looking forward to. If you haven't seen my other vlog where I've actually introduced Launchpad, make sure you take a look above. We're going to put a link to the video that I shared a few months back and give you some more information about Launchpad. This is Misha, one of our VPs of Food and Beverage Operations. Is Misha slacking or is he working today? I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments below. He says slacking. I say he's actually working pretty hard because this is the second or third courses I've seen Misha. Misha, what do we got going on at Mickelson National today? Mickelson's pack. Tea time, start of the day till the end of the day. A little bit of a frost delay, but it actually helps food and beverage because we get to sell more beer on the patio. Right on. Patio is packed, which is the only place we're able to allow people to eat right now. And the parking lot's packed, so I knew it was going to be busy in here. Lots going on. 
Thanks, Mish. I'll let you get back to work. Here with Miles Mortensen, our Director of Golf Executive Professional at Mickelson National Golf Course. Miles, I want to talk today a little bit about some of the member experience, guest experience, some of the unique things we want to do at Mickelson National this year. What can you tell me? Certainly. Um, look, we're really looking for great staff and we're going to train them. That's certainly been the focus. Um, we've updated our core standards, our training manuals, right. and uh, we're really kind of making sure the members' experience is, is at the level that's deserved at Mickelson National. And uh, we're really kind of investing into the staff at this point. Um, you know, we're doing some guests. Uh, you know, name recognition programs and right. stuff like that. Yeah, and getting the staff really to learn their names quickly and make it feel like home, right? And Absolutely. Really focusing on that. Absolutely. Super important that you know we really enhance the member experience, our guest experience as much as we can. We've got something kind of special happening here today. What can you tell me about that, and how's that going to continue throughout the year? Well, it's it's golf's obviously a tradition, yeah. uh, you know, from the overseas. So we thought we'd bring in a bagpiper to welcome our first group of the year off the 18th green, and it just brings a spark. Everyone loves the bagpipes, and uh, he's warming up now, and everyone's kind of getting excited about it. I heard him a few minutes ago. We're going to go check him out in a few minutes. Awesome stuff! Can't wait. Miles Mortensen is doing great stuff here at Mickelson National, helping us everywhere in the Windmill Golf Group. Miles, thanks for your time. Thanks, Barry. We're stop number four at Springbank Lynx. Just as I was pulling up, this is the kind of thing that happens in my day. I got a text message saying Ontario has shut down their golf courses. As you can see, this is one of the text messages that I got. You can clearly see in there that golf courses is shut down. I've been spending the last hour texting people, talking to different people on our team. Number one thing we're going to be doing, ensuring indoor and outdoor, all of our team members are going to be wearing masks. Without question, no matter where we are on premises, we're going to be wearing masks. But it's just what happens in my day. Uh, I've spent an hour on this, and without question, this is catastrophic. Hopefully it doesn't happen in Alberta. We've got to definitely get rigid in our protocols here, not only at our courses, but across the province. For the time being, business continues. I'm gonna head out on the golf course and take a look at what their golfer sees. How are we doing guys? Good. Enjoying, we're out, beautiful day. Can't complain, can we? It's perfect. This time of the year, because we're early in the season, I'm really looking at three primary three things. Greens, tees, and fairways. I know there's lots of areas in the periphery, that we're gonna to maintain to a different standard after we get our greens, tees, and fairways in tip-top condition. But I just wanna take a look around at those primary things. Just gonna mention one more quick thing, our vertical farm, sustainable farming. We grow inside of this container. I'm gonna come back for another video down the road and show you the inside of this container farm. Well, here I am at Heritage Point, my last stop of the day. I woke up this morning knowing it was going to be a fantastic day. Just knew it was going to be awesome. And it certainly has been. I've been to all of my golf courses. It's been really busy. No complaints at all. But a little bit of a buzzkill hearing about the golf courses getting closed in Ontario. That's definitely a concern because usually if Ontario has a cough, Alberta gets a cold. And I don't like that. But we carry on and we do what we can do. For now, a little bit of me time, gonna go work on my game and hit some balls. Today was phenomenal. It's the first time I've done something like this, the day in the life of a golf course owner. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll do something again like this in the future. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. I would appreciate it so much. Of course, hit that like button, that notification bell. I'll see you next time.